Hello, how to evaluate with that calculator? This is 16 power 5 minus 16 power 4. So we can express this 5 here as summation of 4 and 1. I have 16 power 4 plus 1 minus 16 power 4. Now, if you have a power n plus n, this equals a power n times a power n. So applying this right here, I will have 16 to the power of 4 times 16 to the power of 1 minus 16 to the power of 4. So we can factor out 16 to the power of 4 because we have it here on both sides. I have 16 to the power of 4 times this divided 16 to the power of 4. I have 16 minus this divided 16 to the power of 4. I have 1. From here, of 16 power 4 times 15. So what do I do? I need to find the value of 16 power 4. 16 is a perfect square, which is 4 power 2, and also it is same thing as 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of this 4 we have here times 15. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times m, I multiply this out, I'm going to have 2 to the power of 16 times 15. I can express this as summation of 10 plus 6. So doing that, I'm going to have 2 to the power 10 plus 6 times 15. And remember, a power n plus m equals a power n times a power n. I apply this right here. I will simply have 2 power 10 times 2 power 6 times 50. And what is the value of 2 power 10? 2 power 10 is the same thing as 2 power 5 times 2, which is just like writing 2 power 5 or 2 to the power of 2. And 2 power 5 is 32. It's just like writing 32 power 2, and this will give you 1024. You can confirm that. So what I'm going to do will be to replace this with 1, 0, 2, 4 times 2 power 6 is simply 32 times 2, that is 64 times 15. Let's start with multiplying this out first. I have 1, 0, 2, 4 times 64. Let me express this as 1,000 plus 24 times 64, then I have times 15. So what I'm going to do will be to multiply this here, multiply this here. So I'm going to have 1000 times 64 plus 24 times 64, then I have times 15. 1000 times 64 is 64,000 plus 24 times 64, I have 24, I have 64. So 4 times 4 is 16, I have 6 square by 1, 4 times 3 is 8, 8 plus 1, that is 9. Then I have 6 times 4, that is 24, I have 4 square by 2, 6 times 2, that is 12 plus 2, that is 14. So let's add up this together, I have 6, this is 13, I have 3, square by 1, add here, 5. I have one, one five three six. So what I'm going to do is to add sixty four thousand to one five three six. I have sixty four thousand plus one five three six. So when once you add that to get them, this is six three five five six. So you're going to have sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six. Remember. We need to multiply this by 15 because we have 15 right here. So let's do the multiplication to get our final answer. We have 6, 5, 5, 3, 6 times 15. So I'll start with 5 times 6, 30, 0 carry over 3, 5 times 3, 15 plus 3, 18, 8 carry over 1. 5 times 5, that is 25, 25 
plus 1, 26, 6 carry over 2, 5 times 5 again, 25 plus 2, 27, 7 carry over 2, 5 times 6, that is 30, 30 plus 2, we have 32, 1 times 6, 6, 1 times 3, 3, 1 times 5, 5, 1 times 5 again, 5, 1 times 6, 6, we add up together, 0 plus 0, this is 0, this is 14, 4 carry over 1 up here, this is 10, 0 carry over 1 up here, this is 8 plus 5 will give you 13, we have 3 and carry over 1 up here, this will give you 8, that is 3 plus 5, that is 8, then from here you have 3 plus 6, that is 9, so this becomes our answer, that is, 983,040. So this is what we get for 16 to the power of 5 minus 16 to the power of 4. This is 983,040. And we have achieved this without a calculator. So guys, this is it. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you. Goodbye.